Hey you guys, it's Karen. I thought I'd come and give you a quick update on the Amivig injection because I think I was, I don't know whether it was a bad injection or whether I was just too eager to believe that it was working and now it's not working. But certainly for the month of January, the Amivig injection has not worked for me at all. It is the same as every month before December. Um, so this month so far, I've had three sticker days, three non-migraine days. Um, but I I am wondering if it was the injection and if there was it was a faulty injection. And I don't know whether I mentioned in my last video the differences between when I did the injection. So the first time I did it, I injected in my stomach. Um, and what it tells you to do is you, you press the pen against your skin and then you, you press the clicker. You press and hold the clicker. And you, it should take about 15 seconds for all the liquid to be gone and at that point it turns yellow and so that's what I did the first time and you're, you're holding it and you can see the liquid going down and the yellow appearing you know um, and that was all fine and that's it worked as you know for the month of December I was delighted when I did the one in January is it January yeah um, I decided to do it in my thigh because I had bruised very badly on my stomach and it was actually hurting my stomach after I did it. So I thought, let me just see what it's like in my thigh. I don't know if that affected things or not. <clears throat> I think that's unlikely because lots of people do it in their thigh. Um, however, I, I got the injection out, I checked, it looked full. You know, I remember looking at it and thinking it wasn't like there's anything in there, but that's because it's a clear liquid. And I was sort of looking at it going, oh no, that's right, it is full. So I pressed it against my skin, I pressed the clicker. And instead of the liquid slowly going down, it just went whoosh and it was like within about two seconds and I was like that's weird um, I can't remember what happened with the yellow thing I think the yellow thing was there immediately actually that's right it was yellow because I remember thinking it's yellow so I should be able to pull it off but it's literally just been a couple of seconds so I'm just going to keep on holding it just in case something has malfunctioned there and there's more liquid to go in you know but it just Nothing else changed after that. And I took it off and was like, right, OK, we'll just need to wait and see. The other thing is when the liquid went in, I felt it shoot up my vein, which was really weird. You know, I was like, oh, my goodness, I felt that like an ice cold thing, a nice cold feeling in my leg. Um, but I think the thing that makes me think it was a faulty one is the fact that it that it went in two seconds, you know, that it was like one, two, psh, and the liquid was out, whereas the one before it, like I said, was 15 seconds and that's what they tell you in the information sheet that it is supposed to take about 15 seconds it was really slow the first time whoa i'm feeling so dizzy um the headache is just starting so i'll be all right for another hour or so um but the other reason that i think it's not working is obviously because it's not working <laughs> the other reason i think it was faulty sorry is because it's not working um which I suppose that could just happen, but I think it would be unlikely that it would work so well the first month and then not work at all the second month. But the other thing is, do you remember I said that I had constipation in the first month and that is, you know, the number one most common side effect and I was managing it happily, you know, it wasn't a problem. But I continued doing what I had done last month, which was I was taking a Senecot tablet um, at night and I was having raw carrots. Um, and all of that was working fine but then all of a sudden I didn't need to take that and I have no constipation this month at all so again that makes me think to go from constipation to no constipation all of a sudden at the time when the injection would run out and the new one would begin makes me a bit suspicious so I suppose I'm hopeful that it was a dud injection because that would mean that there is still a chance that it works for me you know um so today is Wednesday. I don't. Uh, today's not Wednesday, honestly. Like I keep saying, I think this migraines are eating my brain. Um, today is Monday. I don't know when I'll get this uploaded or edited because sitting at, looking at the computer is a problem. Um, but my next injection is a week on Wednesday. That's where the Wednesday came from. So a week on Wednesday, I inject again. I've already received it, and it's in the fridge. So hopefully that one, I'm going to put it in my stomach, so hopefully that one will go slowly. <laughs> but what's worked out really well timing wise is my appointment with the neurologist is on the 7th of February and I will be injecting on the 2nd of February. So there'll be five days between the injection and seeing him. So just enough time for me to see is that one going to work, <coughs> you know, better than the last one. Because as I was saying to my husband, if I go into the neurologist with and he only looks at January, He's just going to say it's not working and not give me any more, you know, and I would really like to try the, the higher dose. 
Um, and so I hope that the next injection works and that I can tell him and that he can give me the, the extra dose, the double dose, if you like. It's because it's either so I'm on 70 milligrams and then the next dose up is 140 milligrams. And sometimes they give you one pen of 140. Sometimes they give you two 70 milligram pens and you just inject them both at the same time or one after the other, I guess. So I'm hoping that when I see him, it should be just enough time for him to order me the, the double dose so that for March I take a double dose. So my, I, I am really worried now. I'm worried that he's going to look at January, you know, and go, this is not working for you. But I really, and my husband was saying this last night, it's like you really have to stress to him that, that December was like a new life. You know, I, he was saying I was like a different person and it, it worked really, really well in December. So fingers crossed. Anyway, I just thought I'd come and update you just because... Um, keep updated on what's going on but I would love to hear from anybody who has experienced anything similar with injections of any kind you know let me know because obviously I'm not a phlebotomist I don't know how to take blood how to put injections in or anything like that um I, should, I suppose I could google it but you know google comes up with some dodgy answers sometimes doesn't it but if you're a nurse let me know what you think um but yeah so fingers crossed a week on Wednesday everything will be all right I'm kind of dreading this week coming because my husband is in the office. He's He works at home a lot, but he's he's back in the office now. You know, there's a lot of big director's meetings and whatnot that he has to go to and a lot of, a lot of things going on. And so he's in the office. He's working from home today. So I haven't taken a tramadol today, but he is here. So he'll be able to look after Watson. But then he's in the office the rest of the week. So I'm on Watson duty and whatnot. I can't take a tramadol every single day. You know, I can only take it a couple of times a week. So... I will take it on the days that Watson is only in half day daycare um, and see how I get on. So I will come and report back to you probably after I've seen the neurologist because that will give me a few days after my next injection to see if that's working and then see what the neurologist says um, and I'll come and update you then. So I hope you guys are all doing well um, and I'll speak to you again soon.